Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're going to be doing another episode of checking out one of your guys' solar systems. So today we're on episode 115, 16 now? I've, I've completely lost count at this point, I think we're on 116. Um, so yeah, before we get into that though guys, I just want to make a quick update on the um, the um, sort of news that happened last um, video where I lost, I due to updating to the new version, I did lose all of my custom objects but I've managed to restore... A decent amount here we can see I haven't got every single one but and all the stars are out of order um, which is kind of annoying but I've got most of the important ones back um, thankfully so yeah just anyone who's wondering about that um, I have managed to do that and then simulations as well if I just go to um, yeah I've, I've got I've got a, a decent amount of simulations I wanted um, back as well so yeah just to put that out there for anyone who was wondering on that but yeah the, the original files they're all lost um, forever as far as I know for anyone um, was wandering there but yeah now that is all out the way guys let's get into today's system so today we've got one system from the user if i just um head to where his name so the lost probe that um that's the name of the user on discord so massive thank you to them for sending them um, this system in and they've also sent me a text document which i've got up um to read for this um system we're doing today as well um yeah and this system is called the um the galise system i believe so let's go ahead and search it again see where we are, are we so here we go. So let's go ahead and open this up and let's see what he has prepared for us. Right. So um, this um, this system is a binary system, uh, 1,758 light years away from Earth. It has the most planets we've ever discovered in another system. It is also the first other star system to have an asteroid belt, comets, moons, and dwarf planets. Okay, cool. And those orbits look pretty exotic so far. Wow. Okay. Oh, I'm liking the I'm liking the way this looks with all the crazy orbits and stuff. So how many objects we've got in go? Okay, over 2,000. That's obviously due to the asteroids. So, yeah, there we go. But, yeah, let's begin. So, the star itself, right here we go. So, it looks quite similar to the sun. Um, the star is the center of the system and the largest star. Okay, so that's all he's put for that. So, there we go. So, there's our star. And let's we can check the stats as well. So, as we can see, I'm guessing it's fairly similar with the sun um, on a few things. A little smaller. Um, so, yeah, there we go there. But now moving on to the first of the planets. Let's turn off the zones as well quickly. There we go. Right, so the first planet. So um, let's also go on realistic lighting. There we go, so we can see it. That's quite a pretty exotic looking um, banded gas giant. Okay, so this gas giant's planet is the first seen to be Uranus-like and have a ring system similar to its size in Saturn's rings. Is there any rings here? Don't think I see any rings, so maybe maybe they're not added or something. But yeah, there's definitely, if I just look in front of the star, there's definitely no rings around that one. But yeah, there we go, unless I'm being very, very dumb. But yeah, there we go, so that is our first planet. So a nice banded gas giant. Let's actually get a look at the... So if it goes for appearance, there we go, so there's all of the bands. So yeah, there we go. All right, now heading to the next object now. So this is um, object AC. This one's got a ton of moons. Another very exotic looking colored one. Okay, so this is the first exoplanet to ever have, or ever seen to have moons. So yeah, here we go here. So there are its, um, there are its colors and then the stats. So there we go, so it's another like Uranus Neptune sized object. Um, so yeah, there we go. Now the moons. I don't know if he's written anything about these. We can see this one's a little glitchy. I have no idea why it's doing that. That is very funny. Maybe, is there a second star in here It's doing that? Because he did say it's the largest star, so that implies there's more than one. So I'm guessing that's just a shadow glitch. The very funny, we have seen a glitch like this before. I have no idea what causes it, but it's a very flashing one. A very flashy one there. So yeah, there we go. That's the first moon. Second moon over here. So yeah, not, not any of that going on here, but yeah, here it is. Oh, we've got, oh that's a very strange... And maybe this, um, this system is from an older version of the game, because there's no water on here. Yeah, there we go. That's fixed it. So yeah, there we go. So yeah, quite a nice blending of colour there. I'm liking that, I have to say. It's, it's simple but sweet, I think. Um, so yeah, there we go. So a nice um, mix of colours in there. I think I think that looks quite good, um, that one there. So there we go. All right, next moon out. This one's also got, like, got crazy... Um, is it, maybe it's just due to the... There we go. Okay, so that fixes it. So you just add and remove the water. So yeah, there we go there. So there is um, that one there. All right, now heading out to this yellow one. So this one again has that glitch. That's um, yeah, it must be from an old version of the game. That's my guess. So yeah, here it is. So we've got some more um, pretty crazy colours here. Right. So there we go. Yeah, there's definitely nothing he's written on the notepad about these moons. Right. Um, there we go. Next moon as well. So another exotic coloured one here, as we can see here. Quite a nice mix of colours um, there as well. So there we are. And then the last moon of this one. So this is um, all the way out here. A smaller, minor object, as we can see here. But yeah, there we go. So there are all of those. Okay, so now we're heading out to the next planet. So this is AD now. So here we go. So this looks like it's um, a little more Earth-like, as we can see here. I also saw a pretty big... Okay, so it looks like there's another planet very close. So I just turn the orbits off. Can we actually see the planet from here? You can just about make out a speck if you look very carefully there. I can see that one's blue. 
So yeah, we can just about see that there. Let's go back to realistic. There we go. So here's the next object. So this is AD, and it's looking very nice with a sort of greenish sort of colour um, going on it there. So here it is. So minus 41 degrees. So let's check this. So it's a fairly cold. It only goes to minus 36. So yeah, there we go. Let's check its stats. So 69 and then 57. So yeah, a lot colder. Cold in um, Ice World. Okay, so what here is he written about it? Okay, so this planet is a habitable world. If um, it is frozen, don't worry. It's a glitch apparently. Okay, see so yeah, there we go. But yeah, with some of the water... I believe is or is that is that blue land i'm not entirely sure let's check the surface or comp oh, it's appearance sorry so yeah there we go so yeah that i'm guessing that yeah okay so that is water then because yeah none of the none of the elevation colors um have blue so yeah there we go so there is um it's just a lot of high elevation which is all um covered up there but yeah there we go so there is um there it is there all right and this one also has a moon as well yeah, it doesn't look like he's put any data about the moons, but here is the moon. See, so yeah, a pretty, um, pretty simple one here, also glitched. So we'll just go ahead and fix that. So yeah, there we go. So there is that moon. So yeah, there we go for those two guys. So yeah, there we are. So a nice green trail on that one. Okay, so now we've got AE over here, which is the next one. So again, it's sort of got the green, greenish blue color going on with it. If I go into studio mode, there we go. So let's just another look at it. So another frozen sort of world. Okay, so this one, also hatable. If frozen or no water, add remove and then add water. But it looks like it's all good here. There's definitely water there. So yeah, there we go. So this one's at minus 153 degrees. So it is pretty cold. So there are stats as well. But then going on to the moons. So it looks like we've got some uh, smaller moons here. Yep, some a lot smaller ones. Um, so there we go. Okay, so they're all minor moons by the looks of it. Asteroid moons. So yeah, there we go. That's all of those guys. And then one larger moon out here, I'm guessing. Yep. So this one is going with a orange and blue color theme right there. So yeah, there we go there. Uh, is that one rightio now heading on to this one here so this this one yep did I, I did say one of them did look slightly blue so yeah there it is there so it's um it's sort of matching the theme with the previous two objects we saw so yeah there we go so this one is very um iced over by the looks of it okay so af also hatable same as always if frozen or no water add and remove the water let's actually try that so if i just add and then remove so is that gonna do anything okay there we go so that's that's sort of what it's supposed to look like then so it's just the ice being a little funny. But yeah, there we go there. So there is that one. Right, and then the moons. So I'm guessing these are all asteroid ones. So yeah, there we go there. Yeah, so they're all asteroid ones. And then this is in a binary with AFH. Um, there is nothing written about this object. So it's just a moon. But yeah, there we go here. with a very interesting colour scheme there. See, there we go. So it's like an orangey green sort of colour scheme. So really interesting looking one there. So there we go. So they're in a little binary sort of thing going on. Alright, okay, now we're taking a big jump. So there's an asteroid belt, as we can see here. Right, so the next object is AG. A carbon giant, sea composition, see that white stuff? That's cut. Yeah, I've seen that before. So yeah, there we go. So that's the that's the option that you don't you can't actually modify here. The only way to access that option is you've got to go to um, tools, then you've got to go to material, and then the only way to get carbon dioxide on the planet is by clicking this and then shooting at it. So the only way you can do it for anyone who didn't know, but um, yeah, there we go. This one is definitely the best looking gas giant I've seen so far in here, in my opinion. I do like this one, I think it looks the best. Out of all the ones I've seen. So yeah, there we go. Let's just go back to fly. There we go. So just close all that. But yeah, there we go. So yeah, I really like um really like the way that one looks with the nice bright colours all mixed in there nicely. So right, so yeah, the carbon gas giant. Right, and then it's moon, so it's got some nice Neptune blue trails here. So here is this one. Fly, let me go back. I think I'm on the wrong thing here. I can't remember. Am I usually on fly? Oh, there we go. Yeah, cool. I just had the menu open still. So yeah, here's the next one. Right, so that's quite a cool view of the gas giant as well, actually, just looking like that. So, in realistic, it would look like that. But, yeah, really cool view of it. Imagine just looking up in the sky and seeing that giant object right there. So, here's another one, quite similar to Pluto, in a, like, with the color, sort of, color scheme on there. And then, the last object out here, so this is the smallest one. Well, not smallest one, another small one, sorry. Let's actually land on this one. Just, whoa, a bit of glitchy spikes going on. Whoa, I've not landed on one of these before. Or in a while, anyway. But, yeah, there we go. So, let's just look at the planet itself so that's sort of what you'd see if you were here so pretty nice view right there there's it on studio as well just to brighten up a bit but yeah there we go also just to get a nice look of it so we turn the labels off there you go so nice stuff indeed right there we go all right so zooming out from that one all right so there we go that's all of those ones okay so now we're taking a massive jump to the next object so okay so the next one is actually let's just look back onto the planet so this is ag okay the next one is um a dwarf planet okay Right, so well, where are we heading? Okay, so so we've got a, a dwarf planet over here. This one's also got that ice glitch going on, so let's just fix it. So there we go. That's what it's supposed to look like. So um, there we go. 
Dwarf planets, just a few dwarf planets. Okay, cool. And this one's got some tiny moons very close to it as well. Look at this. So, yeah, there we go. So, there are all of the moons. So, pretty small guys. It's quite a nice, like, emerald sort of green sort of looking object here. I'll put it on studio. It's actually more of a blue, but, yeah, there we go. Righty-o. So, this one's actually quite hot. 130 degrees. Maybe it's getting some tidal heating or something. So, then we go to the next one. So, we've got more dwarf planets here. So, this one's an all-frozen world, as we can see. So, yeah, there we go. The next one over, over here as well. So, there it is. So, that's an, a more orange and um, brown colored one. Then we've got some very exotic orbits um, going on out here. So, there we go. So, just, yeah, they're, they're just comets. Okay. So, there are all of those guys. And I believe that's it for the objects around the first star. Because, yeah, it was implied there was a second star, which I'm guessing is this. Yep, there we go. So, this is um, the second star now. Okay. So, this has got its own system of planets as well. Okay. So, a ton of them around here. Wow. Okay. So, that comets. Okay. So, this is the second star. A lot of planets. All right. That's what he said. Okay. Right, so, okay, so B, B to B, I, they're the inner planets of the system. Okay, so here we go. So there's a ton in here, so we'll, um, we'll go through all these. They're very close together as well. I mean, if we, you can see them all here, so it's a very, very close system. So we've got B, then we've got C over here, and we just hop to them all. So we've got C and then D. Maybe if I could, maybe I can try and jump to them all just by doing this. So where, where, where could E be? So A, B, C, D, any E nearby labels on maybe to give us a hand? So E is over there, so you can actually spot that. So here's E. Then we have got F. Yep, there's F. And is that H over there? H? So there's H. Okay, so H and then I was the last one of the inner ones. So is that I over there? That's L. So no, it's not that one. No, we're going too far. Is it this one, I? No, that's K. So where, where's I? So I is there. And that's J. No, where, where's I then? So H and then I. Oh, the I is all the way over here. Okay, we were never near it. So here's I. So yeah, there we go. Okay, so that's um, all the way to I. Okay, so BJ, a Hatful planet orbiting um, the star B. Okay. Right, so where where's J now? So let's go ahead and put labels back on. Okay, where we go. Right, so J is over here. Okay, so another... Um, another oh, wow, look at this one. Okay, this one looks pretty interesting. Okay, so what's going on here then? Okay, so he did say about the ice, so if we add, a, add and remove the water, okay, it looks like it's all fine here anyway. But yeah, pretty cool. Oh no, it's frozen. Oh no, we've frozen it. Oh dear, we've actually we've actually broken it by doing that, because he did say add and remove it. I was thinking maybe any more water. We'll just quickly reopen the simulation, that's fine. So yeah, there we go. Back to that one to view it properly. So let's go all the way over here. Okay, let's go back to um, object J. So where are we? So here it is over here. And then uh, turn all that off, and then all that. There we go. Right, so here it is. So this is BJ. It looks different now. Huh, that's very that's very weird why it appeared like that. Or was I on one of the moons? No, this is definitely J. Yeah, this is this is J. Huh, it's pretty weird how it looked like that and then changed. But yeah, here it is here now. So we go back on realistic mode. So yeah, there we go. Right, interesting stuff though, how it appeared differently at first. And then it has also has a moon here as well. So there we go. This is actually um looks like Mimus or Teffies. I think that's Teffies. Um, is it? Let's see. Or is it... Actually, no, it may be Rhea, actually. One of Saturn's moons. Quite hard to... I think that's Rhea. I want to say that's Rhea. But yeah, there we go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that is. But um, yeah, there we go. So there's that. Right, now heading out to Object K over here. So this is another Earth-like world. Or a Hattable world anyway. So this one's got um, some water, some green on it. So there we go. So they're all matching a the theme, most of the Hattable... Uh, planets in here and then this one looks like series yep that is definitely a series there let's um check the composition so uh 58 and 40 yeah, okay so all around the 50 40 area okay so um okay so there should be another one out here as well another dwarf planet and then that's all he said so there's nothing else after that so here's go with the other planets so there's a ton of stuff around all of these i mean this one's quite an exotic looking object i mean look at the colors on there that's quite a, quite a crazy looking um interesting colors on that one with the starlight so yeah there we go and then the moons so it's just a ton of asteroids as we can see here nothing too um big so yeah there we go yes there were asteroids right did this one have any moons around it so here it is yeah it did have a moon so they're all very very close there's a ton of little like asteroid debris moons hovering around these planets so yeah there we go there is that one right then we have got a uh, bn out here okay so here it is so this one whoa look at the colors on that now that is a very wow not seen anything like that before. That is a very good looking world. Wow, I like that. That's cool. That's really, really cool for um, the surface colors. Wow, very nice. 
So yeah, there we go. Then just a ton more moons um, out here as well. Okay, so there we go. So there's that one. Right, and the, apparently this... I don't know which one, so... Okay, there's apparently a dwarf planet. I'm guessing it's... Yeah, here it is. So this is the dwarf planet all the way out here. And then that is the last object in the system. It's not getting much sunlight, as we can see here. But yeah, there we go. And then we've got some tiny dwarf moons around the dwarf planet. So it's quite a large dwarf planet, actually. If we compare it to um, compare it to Mercury, that's it compared to Mercury. So yeah, pretty pretty large all it is. And if we compare it to Pluto, the moon, we'll put this. So it's about larger than the moon. It's about Io size, actually. It's bigger than Io. Io is about, yeah, it's bigger than Io. So in theory, would it even be classed as a dwarf planet? Because from what I know, the largest exoplanet is about the size of Io. Or the smallest exoplanet, sorry. Or one of the smallest ones. It's around the size of Io. So in theory, going by that, I'd argue that this may actually be a regular planet. But you guys can discuss that in the comments as well. But I think I think that's big enough to be a regular planet. I, I want to say. I'm not entirely sure there. But that's it compared to Pluto. I think that's quite a considerable size. And if you compare it to Mercury, I think I think you could probably get away of calling that a planet. So yeah, there we go there. But who knows? It's obviously up to everyone's interpretation and opinion. But yeah, there we go. So that does it for this system, guys. So yeah, pretty cool one, I have to say. So yeah, the Galisei um, system. I hope I'm saying that right. But let's get a lineup of all the objects um, and go over it all. So here we go. We'll see the main star, the second star. So it's mainly a yellow and a red dwarf by the looks of it there. Okay, so out of the um, planet. So I think the best gas giant, 100%, is this one. Um, like I said when I first saw it, that's definitely the coolest looking one to me. I like the colours um, blending nicely there. And then going to the rocky planets, it's got to be the one we saw at the end. Um, where is it? Uh, there was this one. I think it was this one, yeah. I I think it was that But Look at that. It just looks great. Like If we, um, if we just go back to the way it should be, though, if we go all the way over here, back to realistic. I mean, wow, look, look how good it looks there. That looks amazing. That is definitely my favourite rocky in here. 100% I think it looks great so yeah there we go but yeah we see all of the other objects as well but yeah that's that's definitely my favorite one but yeah we've got a ton of different objects and variation here so very nice stuff indeed really really like the um stuff in here uh, so yeah massive thank you again to the user who sent this in so the yeah, the user the lost probe on discord massive thank you to them for sending this in and obviously guys as well if you want to send in your own simulations make sure to either join my discord um link to, um, in the description um which is the easiest way to do it or you can um send the link in the comments but yeah please note it, it, it i may not see it it could go in the spam box things like that so yeah i would um, it would be preferable if you join my Discord server. But yeah, if you do send it in the comments as a link to the Steam Workshop, just um, let me know in a different comment so I can go and um, look for it. So if you just send a link, it will just go straight to the spam folder. Um, so yeah, please keep that in mind. But yeah, there we go. So that does it for everything um, in this system, guys. So yeah, let's see if we can go for 30 likes on today's video, guys. And also subscribe if you're new. Helps on the journey to... Um, 13 and oh no 12,000 subscribers i'm getting lost with the number no is it 12 or 30 no it's 13 isn't it yeah so help us on the journey to 13,000 subscribers also a massive thank you to everyone um who watched this video and keeps coming back every video a massive thank you um to everyone for that and yeah if that all out of the way guys make sure you all have a great day and i'll see you in the next video goodbye